good morning i am not usually on here um this early just because i have so much to get done but i have this little trick that i found out yesterday i learned about it yesterday so this is going to be for you if you have any mascara bleeding from here so it means that like your mascara will transfer onto your makeup and like create some dark circles so when you put your moisturizing cream do not go higher than your cheekbone. So keep it right underneath. Do not put any eye cream in the morning before you put your makeup on and just keep it really low. And so that, I actually did that yesterday because I, I heard about it and then I was like, I don't know if that really works. So I'm gonna give it a try and then all day, I had no mascara bleeding. I was shocked. I was like, how is this possible? So um, if you have the same exact issue that I do, that's what I would recommend. I'm going to try to document it today um, and possibly come back on here like tonight and show you if I have any mascara bleeding. So I'm hoping that that little trick from yesterday did work <laughs> and that I'm not going crazy because I legit did not have, like I didn't change anything. I used the same exact mascara as usual. Um, the only difference was I didn't put that milk cream or any moisturizer or any eye cream closer to my eye. So, I would love to know if any of you guys are willing to try it and see if it also worked for you as well. <sighs> Every morning, I get ready. It's so easy. <laughs> Just put my makeup on, slap it on, and be done. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of candlelit right underneath my eyes because I have a lot of blues. And then I'll put my brightening highlight. So this is my little compact. I'm using um, some of our new colors. I love this color. It's so pretty. Um, so it includes my entire compact. I my entire makeup. Sorry. <laughs> um, so foundation, concealer, contour, lip and cheek, bronzer. Everything's in here. So I love that. It's so easy and convenient. Another trick here is that you can use your brightening highlight or foundation color and just run it over your eyelid. It cancels out some of the some of the um, redness and blues and I also run my brightening highlight on my jawline just because my jawline is a little bit more pale than than um, my um, the rest of my face and then this is my contour it's called um, Astoria I love that the fact that it's all cream. It's like melting on your skin. <laughs> and I am doing a little bit of a heavier coverage today. Once in a while I do love to do like some extra coverage um, and really see how it holds up. I have been using this makeup for about three years now and I still to this day love this makeup. some nose contouring. I don't do this very often either, but I do love doing it. It does make a little bit of a difference when you uh, like want a full coverage. 
And my, um, how I do this is I start from my brow and I just bring it down. Okay, we're gonna do some bronzer. So bronzer is different. That's one question that I get a lot from bronzer and contour. Bronzer and contour is different. So contour is made to create shadow. It's more cool and bronzer is a lot more warm. And I usually place that right around my nose and then I will bring it to my neck. Use a different brush. I need to self tan again. <laughs> I'm pretty fair. There you go. Pretty easy. I'm bringing, bringing my um, contour just a little bit higher. And that's the nice part about it is you don't have to, you don't have to um, erase your entire makeup. You can just, since it's cream, it'll mix with everything else and you can just blend it. I'm using multiple brushes. I mean, they're all in front of me, so I'm just using the ones that I prefer for everything, but you can use just one brush for these. Okay, this is Summer Love, and I've been loving using that on my cheeks. It's a gloss color, and it's it's like kind of like a peachy, peachy gloss color. It's really pretty. And you can, the more you add on your cheeks, the more it becomes like darker. And you can also use it for your lips, which I do prefer a gloss over a uh, matte color for my lips. Love it. Okay, glamizing. I want to do some some of this shimmer. This is called an illuminator. In today's makeup world, we would call that a highlight. We call them illuminators. And they create these like really shiny light spots. Okay. I don't, aside from the, um, from the, um, what is it called? <laughs> my candlelit underneath my eyes. I want to go a little bit brighter again right here. So I'm going to go into my brightening highlight. And just add a little bit right here on the inner corner, outer corner, just bring it in. I think I did put a little bit earlier on my nose, but um, I do love it on the inner corner too. And I stipple that. And then I'm going to put some here again. Just bringing in that 3D look a little bit on my forehead. Okay, foundation is done. So now, um, one thing that I really love to do is I take my setting spray and I take just a little drop on my finger and then I will set my under eye with my finger by just tapping it on the inner corner. And that's something I also did yesterday. So I really want to do exactly what I did yesterday so that I can make sure that it really does work. And I might actually change the mascara just to see if, if the mascara had anything to do with what happened, like as far as some bleeding. 
Am I fixing the issue by not putting some moisturizer cream or eye cream underneath my eye? Or is it the mascara? Does the mascara have anything to do with it? Okay. So that is how I set my under eye. I'm going to go into some... I don't remember where I put my, uh, oh, right in here. This look, this is pretty. I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna start with my brows. Where did I put this brush? Oh, it's right here. So I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use oak, and I'm gonna show you how you can use oak as well for an eyeshadow look. So my brows, I love to just fill them in. This is, like I said, this is an eyeshadow. And I just tap that into, I tap my um, line brush right into my eyeshadow and then transfer that over to my brows. And then I flip my brush around and just brush through it, through them. I do the same exact thing on this side. I get so concentrated doing this. And then I just brush through. Okay. For, for I'm going to do this eyeshadow look on here. So the first thing that I love to do is just take a um, this color called Cupcake. This color is called Cupcake. And I just grab it just like um, I would for like an eyeshadow. But I would, I, I put that on my entire lid as a setting powder um, and then that will give me a really good base for my eyeshadow look there you go so what I so it's completely dry what I had done was I put my foundation on my eyelid and so by putting that color it just sets it and then I can go into these colors here. I'm going to use the eyeshadow brush. I'm going to start with this color called Chai and I am going to put that on my entire lid starting with the outer corner working my way to the inner corner. such a pretty color. It's subtle, but really, really pretty. I'm going to put a little bit more here. Like I said, this is like the entire lid just because it's considered the transition color. Then I'm going to go into Oak. Same side of the brush, that large side of the brush, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner and I'm going to work that color just on the crease. This is a, like a cool, this is the same exact color I'm using for my brows, so it's like a cool brown tone. From here, I'm going to use hot chocolate. I'm going to use my finger for it. And I'm going to place that on the inner corner. OK. 
okay and then I'm gonna go into Philly which is this dark brown color and I'm going to place that on the outer corner And then blend that towards the crease. Take just a little bit more and then blend that, that towards the crease. I'm going to take the smaller end of my brush into that filly and I'm going to brush my lower lash with it. Okay. And then if you want to add a little pop to it you can always go into like something mm, let's see here I'm thinking that glamizing that I put earlier on uh, my cheekbone you can always go into that same color and then just add a little a little something right there And maybe at the brow. So pretty. Okay. Down to mascara. Yesterday I used this one here. I'm going to try. I'm going to try this one today. So this is called the Real Magnets. It is not waterproof. Neither one of these are, are waterproof. I'm just going to give it a try. The one thing that um, I have not done also yesterday was put mascara on my lower lash. So I'm trying to prevent as much as possible any um, touch to my under eye with the mascara. So I'm thinking if I have mascara on my lower lash, then maybe that triggers the under eye to to catch on that mascara but uh, I'm gonna try the same exact thing that I did yesterday so that I can give you guys some feedback all right this is it. So I am going like this. <laughs> I'm going with this. So I'll let you know tonight whether I have some mascara bleeding or not. So I hope you guys have a good Thursday. Thanks for always being here and um, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.